Okay, so good morning and welcome to our Song of Sounds. I hope you've all got your listening ears really well switched on today because we're not learning one sound today, we are learning two sounds today. Now, the funny thing is about these two phonemes, they make the same sound. But sometimes we spell them and read them with one in one way, and other times we read them in a another way. Okay, so let's introduce you to those phonemes. Okay, our first phoneme today is. Does anyone know this one? Good, and sometimes we refer to it as home learners a curly cur because it's a bit curly. And our action for a curly cur is caterpillars coughing. <laughs> Let's hope those caterpillars aren't too poorly with that cough. Okay, so a curly <laughs> caterpillars coughing. <laughs> Excellent. As in, are you ready? <laughs> Cats. Excellent. As in. Caterpillar, as in cake. cake. Mm, delicious. Okay, are we ready for our game? Are we ready? Caterpillars coughing. Well done, home learners. Graphene, shall we? Okay, so if we look at our graphene here, our, you ready? I've got my finger. We go round the caterpillar's head. Okay, that's as easy as that. Watch Mrs. Sharp show you on the board. Oh, let's push the board for Mrs. Green as home learners. We go round the caterpillar's head. And then here we go. We've got the caterpillar's eyes there. Look. And there's his mouth. Okay. It is a head, doesn't it? It needs a happy, smiley caterpillar. Okay, let's blow some magic into those fingers. Okay, we're going to do a really big curly cut. Are you ready? We go round the caterpillar's head. Are you joining in at home, home learners? Okay, shake out the colour. Blow a new one in. This time we're going to do it on our hand paper so we can look at it and do it. Are you ready? On your hand paper, we go round the caterpillar's head. Wonderful. So, this is our curly. Does anyone know another way of making a k sound? Let's say it after three. One, two, three. Oh, now I'm going to introduce you to this sound. Okay. This sound is also a and I think some of you just said it. Sometimes we call this the kicking because it looks like its leg is doing a little kick like a footballer might do. So this one sometimes is called a kicking. Okay? And our action for our kicking is kings flying kites. So you're making a kite shape, which is like our four number of the week. Because how many sides does a kite have? Four. four. One, two, three, four. My goodness, it's hard to count sides of a kite when you've got your arms making the kite shape. So let's sing that again. Kings flying kites. <laughs> Wonderful. As in... King, wonderful. Okay, are you ready? King's flying kites. Excellent. Wonderful. We're making such a good pure k sound today. King's flying kites. 
Wonderful. One more go. Excellent. Okay, what I'm going to do now is have both cards behind, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to put one up like this. And when I put it up, and when you can see what the song is, you can start to see, sing the song. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh my goodness, this is harder than I thought it might be. Very good. Are we ready? Very good. Ready? Well done. Wonderful. Now I'm going to swap them round. So this time you'll see the phoneme. Are you ready? And you say the sound when you see the phoneme. Well done, it's a kicking. A curly. Very good. Well remembered. Wonderful. Now I'm going to show you how to write the curly, uh, the, sorry, is this a curly cuff, Mrs. Sharp? No. no, it's a kicking. So, watch my finger. This one's got a lot of an explanation to it. You go down the king's back, up again, you go round his arm with his puppy sleeve, you go down his leg and you put on the foot. It's quite long, that one, isn't it? Shall I show you? Let's pop this up here. Oh my goodness, it's all falling down. There we go. Here we go. Are we ready? We go down the king's back, back up again. We go round for his arm with the puffy sleeve. Then we come down with his leg and put on his foot. Shall I show you again? There's a lot for this one, isn't there? Okay, here we go. I'm going to do it here, actually. I'm going to do a smaller one, you're right. We go down the king's back, back up again. We go round for his arm with his puffy sleeve. Then we come down for his leg and put on his foot. It does look like he's kicking a football, doesn't it? When, which is why sometimes we call it a kicking. Cut. Remember, it's the kicking. So it's that pure sound, not cur. It. Okay, let's get some magic into those fingers. Okay, are we ready? We go down the king's back, back up again. We go round for his arm with the puffy sleeve. We go down for his leg and put on his foot. Okay, flick the pen out, the paint out of there. Put some more in. Are we ready? We go down the king's back, back up again. Go round for his arm with the puffy sleeve. Down for his leg and put on his foot. Wonderful. Now let's see. If we can have a go at becoming our readers. Who thinks they're going to do some really good reading? I know you are. Are you ready? Okay. It. Cut it. Kit. Wonderful. As in sometimes you might wear your PE kit to school or your gym kit when you do gymnastics. Okay, let's look at our next word. Oh, let's listen to that final sound. Listen to Mrs. Sharp. Can I can read? Yay! Well done, everybody. Now we're going to have a quick practice of the phonemes that we have learned over the last few weeks. Okay, Ooh, where did I pop that card? Right, are we ready? Oh, it's up here. There we go, Mr. Sharp. Silly me. Okay, when I show you the phoneme, you're going to say the sound. Are you ready? 
Good pure sound. Well done. Mm. Amazing pure sounds, everyone. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh, excellent. This time you're going to sing the song. Are you ready? Octopus is orange. Pop, pop, pop. Dinosaurs are dancing.